Hey there friends, True Brian here, and I help you discover inner wealth so you can attract outer wealth. Today, I wanna to talk to you about the concept of outcome-based habits versus identity-based habits from this book, Atomic Habits by James Clear. So you can see where I'm reading from, page 31, and there's a nice visual in here. I hope you can see that, I think you can. And basically, I'm not gonna show you it forever, I'm just gonna explain it to you in a few minutes so you can take this and implement it as a practical tool to change your life for the better today. Okay, let's dive into it. He says on page 31, many people begin the process of changing their habits by focusing on what they want to achieve. This leads us to outcome-based habits. The alternative is to build identity-based habits. With this approach, we start by focusing on who we wish to become. So very simply, most of us try to create habits that give us a specific goal. For example, I want a million dollars. I want to own a Lamborghini. I want to lose 20 pounds. I want a new relationship. And they, they all center around getting a certain outcome. Now that's what the 95% are doing. And why do we see that 90% of the New Year's resolutions fail by early February? People are back to the Netflix, back to the couch, chilling back to where they were because, and this is the kicker, because they were still going after outcomes. And you may say, true, of course they're going after outcomes. They want the outcome. I get it, but let's chill for a second and then crush it. All right. So when we chill, we can listen to Mr. James Clear. And we can say, okay, so if outcome-based habits are not what we're going for, or if they often lead to burnout and uh, a lack of sustainability for the outcome that we want, what's the alternative? So I'm super glad you asked. The alternative is identity-based habits. So identity-based habits, flip it on its head, and instead of going for what you want, which sounds like common sense, instead of that, we have to decide who we want to be first. So when I decide, okay, first step, as he says, there's two steps. Decide who it is you want to become. Step number one, decide who it is you want to become. Step number two, prove it to yourself with small wins, AKA daily habits. So, what does he say there? He says, he's not saying, go make the million dollars today, get the outcome no matter what. He's saying, no, no, no. Instead of saying, I want six pack abs, we can change the verbiage, change the way we're communicating with ourselves and therefore communicating with reality that we are co-creators of. Instead, we can say, okay, identity based habits language. Instead of saying, I want six pack abs, I say, who am I becoming? Or who is the kind of person I want to be that effortlessly and sustainably embodies six pack abs? That's a very different question than how do I get six pack abs? I want them now. Instead, it's who am I going to become to make six pack abs effortless and natural? Does that mean changing my habit of diet? Does that mean changing my habit of when I eat during the day? Am I gonna incorporate a habit of fasting? Am I gonna incorporate a habit of not eating at Chick-fil-A or McDonald's or whatever your preferred fast food place is? So you see the difference here is when we go for an outcome, our identity is going to eventually make the results that we do or may get they're not going to last. Instead, Mr. Clear is saying we have to decide who we want to be first so that our identity is grounded and solid. As Jesus talks about one of the masters, we have to build our house on, on rock, not on sand. And if we're going after outcomes after outcome, and we're all scattered, just going after outcomes, that's building on sand. And so this is the empirical evidence-based way of clarifying what we can do about that. 
So instead, we have to clean the inside of the cup. I always say that in my videos. We have to go inside to discover the inner wealth. And what is that inner wealth? Well, it's the freedom that you can realize right now as you're listening to this video, that you can decide right now who you want to become. That's the core. The second layer around the core identity that you've created and established is the processes. And that is your daily habits in the short term. The third ring, the third circle or phase is the actual outcome. So instead of putting the outcome at the center, we put the outcome at the outside and we put identity in the middle. And then from the, outs, from the, from the inside, everything flows. So when I say, okay, I am becoming a focused, kind, spiritual, affluent entrepreneur, that's my identity. And I can close my eyes and I can see it and I can feel it. Then naturally you can journal on this. Then you say, okay, so what kind of habits have I read about or do I see those types of people with that identity doing every day? Am I going to adopt the habit of Warren Buffett where he reads the stock market for like hours every day? Maybe if that aligns with your identity and then the outcome. So if the identity is all those words, those nice freedom, loving entrepreneurial words, if that's the identity, for example, then the processes could include things like journaling, uh, waiting to eat until you're uh, until 11 AM or something. If you want to slow metabolism and then the outcome is, I am a healthy, focused entrepreneur. So we have this kind of inversion of instead of putting the outcome at the center, we swap it out and we put the identity that you want to be the person, the man or woman who you want to become at the center. And then we have the habits, daily habits every day that naturally come as a result of who you've decided to be. And then you start doing those habits. And then over time, you start to see, the last layer manifest, which is the actual outcomes that you wanted from day one. But now that you've wisened up and you've gotten even more intelligent and you're reading books like this and you're watching the videos and you're implementing what we're saying, you, you now have the patience to give it some time and allow the foundational identity that you've created to do the work for you. So that's the video today in summary. Do not keep choosing outcome based habits. If you are scrap them instead, choose identity based habits. If you need help with this, or you want to chat with me, comment below, message me at my email. It's included in the about section of my YouTube channel. You can find me on Instagram at the true Bryant. And I'd love to hear your comments, your thoughts and feelings below. Okay. I read every one of them. I'm excited to see how this hit you, what you've been implementing, what's working, what's not excited. Okay. And remember you do not have business or relationship issues or challenges. You have personal challenges that need to be cleared up and addressed and transformed. So that's the video for today. Take care.